It's no secret that due to the industry rejection of Russian Soyuz rockets following the invasion and sanctions of Ukraine, SpaceX and its rivals will definitely have some benefits to the detriment of Russia. Following the isolation of Western nations, Elon Musk's SpaceX, Rocket Lab, and Arian Space are competing to replace Russia's Soyuz, the most successful rocket ever launched. Russian Soyuz rockets have been the workhorse that has launched the most spacecraft in history, carrying astronauts and cargo into space for decades. But recently, Soyuz's commercial possibilities have decreased. How exactly did this happen? What's next for SpaceX and its competitors? Let's find out. The industry's confidence in Russia and its iconic rocket has been undermined by the country's efforts to modify commercial contracts, delay deliveries, and effectively take property from Western clients. It seems the consequences of Russia's war in Ukraine have significantly harmed the Soyuz's chances of success. According to Caleb Henry, a senior analyst at the research and advising firm Quilty Analytics, the Russian government essentially eliminated the economic potential of Soyuz. He continued saying, Russia's conduct raises the possibility of permanently removing Soyuz from the list of launch vehicles utilized around the world. The newest moves accelerate the trend away from Soyuz, practically paving the path for U.S. and European businesses like SpaceX, Rocket Lab USA Inc., and Arian Space SA. The rocket has already been facing increased competition from other launch vehicles. Contracts worth billions of dollars might be up for grabs to help mankind explore the universe, transfer cargo to the International Space Station, and launch commercial satellites into orbit. As SpaceX has gained sufficient grounds, it's safe to assume Elon Musk will make good on this opportunity. It's also sensible to assume that other competitors won't be left behind. In order to fill the void left by Soyuz, Rocket Lab claimed it's already considering ways to bring its newest rocket to market more quickly. OneWeb, a well-known satellite operator partially owned by the UK government that has used the Soyuz, signed a contract with Elon Musk's SpaceX to employ its launch services later this year. According to Arian Space CEO Stephen Israel, who spoke at the Satellite 2022 conference in Washington, the company can transition Soyuz customers to its Arian 6 rocket in 2023. Arian Space commercially marketed and launched the Soyuz as Europe's medium lift rocket. Since its debut in 1966, the Roscosmos-built Soyuz has completed about 2,000 missions and in recent years its significance in space launches has grown even more. In 2011, Europe decided to use the rocket as their medium lift launch vehicle. Soyuz was the only means of transportation for U.S. astronauts to the International Space Station for almost 10 years until SpaceX started providing an alternative after the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Space Shuttle was retired the same year. Over the following six months, OneWeb intended to launch six Soyuz rockets to complete the constellation of Internet Access satellites in low Earth orbit. The partnership ended on March 3rd after Russia demanded that OneWeb make a commitment that its satellites wouldn't be used for military purposes and that the UK sell its stake in the company. OneWeb is also owned by Barty Airtel Limited and Eutelsat SA. With Soyuz launches, OneWeb has deployed nearly two-thirds of its constellation. According to Ruth Pritchard Kelly, a senior consultant at OneWeb, it's unclear what will happen to the company's satellites in Russia. Additionally, Northrop Grumman Corp. and United Launch Alliance, a partnership between Boeing Co. and Lockheed Martin Corp., may be impacted by Roscosmos's removal of workers from a French Guyana launch site and suspension of rocket engine shipments to the U.S. According to Henry of Quilty Analytics, Russia's measures are perceived as a swift way of retaliation against the bombardment of U.S. and European economic sanctions that severely hurt the nation's economy. Payloads, such as several satellites and the ExoMars rover from the European Space Agency in September, have been delayed as a result of the loss of the Soyuz. Henry said, I believe they intended to do something that would harm people severely and soon. They caused several European programs to be delayed by a year or more. Soyuz was prepared to take on Rocket Lab at the outset. Even Soyuz, which Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck referred to as the most successful the most frequently launched rocket in the entire history of spaceflight, served as design inspiration for the company's upcoming medium lift vehicle, Neutron. Following U.S. sanctions, Russia declared it would halt selling rocket engines to the U.S. When the Russian space chief suggested that the U.S. travel to space on broomsticks, Musk snapped back. A few hours after making the remark, Musk tweeted, American broomstick, referring to SpaceX's rocket launch. Elon Musk made fun of Russia's recent claim that the U.S. will have to travel to space on broomsticks as a result of the suspension of the supply of Russian rocket engines. Following President Joe Biden's sanctions over the situation in Ukraine, Roscosmos 
Cosmos chief Dmitry Rogozin declared on Thursday that Russia would no longer provide rocket engines to the U.S. Rogozin stated on state-run TV that, In a situation like this, we can't equip the United States with our world's greatest rocket engines. Let them fly on something else. I don't know, their broomsticks? After Rogozin's remarks, SpaceX used its Falcon 9 rocket to place 47 of its own Starlink satellites into orbit. What a retaliation! More than 2,000 satellites are currently in orbit as part of SpaceX's Starlink satellite broadband business. Users of Starlink in Ukraine were advised by Musk to only activate the device when necessary due to the possibility of being targeted during the invasion. Musk tweeted in response to Rogozin's criticism of him for providing Starlink internet in Ukraine. Strange disruptions of the civilian internet were occurring in Ukraine. Perhaps the weather was to blame. SpaceX is therefore assisting in its repair. One expert told Insider that he was using utilizing the system for emergencies in case his regular internet connection was shut off after Starlink went operational in Ukraine over the weekend. The confrontation between Musk and Rogozin is not the first, and we don't see Musk backing down ever. His space company's success hasn't been an easy ride. After being ridiculed by a Russian engineer in 2001, the CEO of SpaceX famously made the decision to start his own space company. In Escaping Gravity, My Quest to Transform NASA and Launch a New Space Age, which was released on June 21, First, Garver provided commentary on the incident. Elon was so deeply outraged by this behavior that, according to Garver, he planned to create his own rocket firm to compete with them during the voyage home. This was the spit that launched a thousand spacecraft if Helen of Troy had a face that launched a thousand ships. The commercialization of the U.S. space industry during Garver's tenure as NASA's deputy administrator under the Obama administration is the subject of her book. The book describes Garver's initiatives to make space travel more accessible. In the summer of 2002, Musk and Garver first spoke. They talked about how dependent NASA is on Russia, she claimed. She had just returned from a training assignment in Russia where she had been preparing to board the Soyuz rocket, an opportunity that musician Lance Bass had won. Not the first person to describe the occurrence has been the former NASA officer. When Musk took him to Moscow to clinch a deal to acquire space rockets for a future trip to carry mice or plants to Mars, according to SpaceX co-founder Jim Cantrell last month, the Russians treated Musk horribly. Musk's conflict with Russia has persisted for many years. Cantrell asserted that he believes Musk's casual clothes were perceived as a sign of disdain by the Russians. The White House and NASA employees were frequently impacted by Musk's disruptor mentality and lack of deference toward the conventional industry, according to Garver in her book. Similar details were provided by the co-founder in Ashley Vance's biography of Musk, Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future. He claimed that throughout many conversations in Moscow, the Russians mistreated Musk. According to the account, Musk was eager to start doing business, while the Russians were more interested in making small conversations and having a drink. Cantrell said, They looked at us like we were not credible people. In Vance's book, Musk finally refused to agree on a price with the Russians, and the book claims that he stormed out of the meeting. Cantrell revealed to Vance that Musk had the notion of creating his own rockets while on the flight home. Less than a year later, SpaceX was established as the Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, one of the most valuable private corporations as a result of its growth. Musk's conflict with Russia has persisted for many years, and with the current macroeconomic situation, there's no doubt that he'll try to make the best of the situation and rake in billions worth of profits while at it. What do you think of the supposed Russia versus Elon Musk rivalry? Comment below!